In this video, I'm gonna quickly show you how to factory reset your iPad and turn it into a brand new iPad. So you can actually sell it, trade with someone else, or simply erase all content and all settings on your iPad. And hey, do not worry because this works on any iPad model. In my case, I've gotten here an iPad mini to showcase it to you guys, but do not worry regardless of your iPad model, this tutorial should work for you. Hey, my name is Shaq and in this channel I help you fixing tech related issues. So if you're into tech content, consider subscribing here to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'll quickly show you how to actually factory reset your iPad so you can actually make it faster or erase all your content or even trade with someone. If you want to sell your iPad, you need to actually factory reset. So you want to be sure you actually erase all content of yours which you had here on your iPad. Now we've got in here two methods of doing this and I'll show you the difference between the first and the second one. In the first method, you need to have access to your iPad. For example, you need to have the passcode that unlocks your iPad device which is in my case, for example, 2123 for this iPad. But in case you do not know your iPad's passcode, you can use the second method to actually remove the passcode and still be able to erase your iPad and turn it into a brand new iPad. So let's jump straight into the tutorial. So the very first thing we need to do in here is hop into settings and do not worry, regardless of your iPad model or software version, this should work for you. So once you're here on settings, we're going to hop straight here into general. Okay. So you can actually see general here on the left. Let's tap into general. We're going to quickly scroll down and here at the bottom, we've got in here an option which says reset. Okay. So we're going to tap here on reset. And the next up, we're going to be having here a bunch of options. As you guys can see, we've got in here, erase all settings, erase all content and settings reset network reset keyboard dictionary reset home screen layout as well as reset locations and privacy so what happens is people usually do reset their ipads to factory settings if they want to sell their ipad or sometimes they might be facing a few bugs or errors okay so when they face bugs they try to reset it in order to overcome those bugs or issues if you have a specific bug like a network issue, you can reset your network settings only and see if this solves the problem that you've got. If you have an issue with settings, you can also reset these settings only without erasing all the content. Okay, so this is a personal tip from myself. If you want to get rid of a bug or a problem, try resetting one of these options first. Now, if you simply want to erase all content and you want to completely turn your iPad into a brand new one, no worries, we're going to tap here on erase all content and settings. And now it requires us to enter our passcode. Okay, so this is actually what we need in order to complete the restoration process with the first method. But if you do not know the passcode, if you type in, for example, a wrong passcode, it won't accept. So in this case, if you have a wrong password or you do not know the password, you should hop into the second method. Okay, that I'll be showing to you. In just a few seconds but in case you know the passcode no issues let's quickly type in my passcode 2123 and my ipad will be completely erased in just a few seconds this will delete all media and data and reset all settings tap on re tap on erase erase ipad are you sure you want to continue because they want to double check if you really want to erase your ipad because you're going to lose all your data and information let me tap on erase and my iPad should now be restored to factory settings. This is how it goes. I'm waiting for a couple seconds while Apple does its thing. You'll be able to see a progress bar in here, which is the process of actually resetting and restoring your iPad into factory settings. So here we go. It's now restarting once again. And here we go. The iPad is now fully restored. And the next thing we need to do is actually set up our iPad as a brand new iPad. So you'll be here on this hello screen, which displays hello in several languages. We just need to swipe right and start setting up our iPad. So the process is quite simple over here. We just need to tap here on our language English, select our location or region. In my case, I'll be selecting United States. Next up, I need to connect into a Wi-Fi network in order to quickly activate 
my iPad. Let me quickly connect into my Wi-Fi network. Next up, it's going to ask us for a couple seconds while it activates my iPad. Location services, I'll disable it as of now. Okay. Next up, I need to create a passcode. Okay, let me quickly create a passcode. 1111. Use code. 1111. Next up, it asks me if I want to restore my data. In my case, I won't restore anything because we want to set it up as a brand new iPad, right? Because you might want to trade it or sell it to somebody or something like that. So let's step here and set up as a new iPad. And then you just need to log in with your Apple ID. In my case, I'll tap on don't have an Apple ID. And then over here, we've got an option which says set up later in settings. And then tap on don't use in case you want to sell your iPad to somebody else. So you want to make sure you do not have your iCloud linked to this iPad. So let's agree with the terms and conditions here at the bottom. And then turn on CD later. Don't send diagnostics to iPad as of now. Welcome to iPad. Welcome to your brand new iPad. Tap on get started in order to actually get access into your iPad. Now, jumping into the second method, if you try to go to settings, if you try to go to general and you try to actually reset your iPad, you result content and settings. And in case you do not know your passcode, but you still want to erase all content and bring it to factory settings by turning it into a brand new iPad, you're going to need a computer and a USB cable. And I'll quickly show you how to do this. So first things first, you need to actually turn off your iPad. Okay. By pressing and holding the power button, you're going to slide to power off your iPad. You're going to keep your iPad aside and next up, you're going to need a USB cable. It can be a USB to lightning or it can also be a lightning to type C cable. Okay. So this is going to depend on your laptop device. You're also going to need a laptop in order to download the software and reinstall a fresh new software into your iPad. So if you've got a laptop with the type C entrance, you're going to use this one. And if you've got a laptop with a USB entrance, you're going to be using a cable like this. In my case, I'll be using this USB cable one in here because I've got a MacBook that supports this entrance right here. Now, do not worry because you can actually perform this on MacBook devices as well as Windows operating system. So do not worry. I'll show you both of these steps in this video. Now let's jump straight into our computer. So here I am on my laptop. In my case, I've got in here a MacBook device running a Mac OS Big Sur. If I tap here on about this Mac, you can actually see my operating system, which is Mac OS Big Sur. Now, in case you've got a laptop running Windows device or a MacBook running a software equivalent to Mac OS Mojave or anything that has came before Mac OS Mojave, you're going to need to download iTunes. And in order to download iTunes, you just need to tap in the link in the description box below, download it, and then get it installed into your computer. Now, in case you've got a much newer MacBook operating system, just like mine, or anything that has came after Mac OS Big Sur, you do not need to download iTunes because iTunes has been discontinued and iTunes doesn't exist anymore. Okay. So in that case, you just need to continue with the tutorial. Okay. So right now, let me close this. Now, once you've downloaded iTunes for the ones who have a Windows PC or an old operating system, now let's continue normally hopping into our internet browser and hopping into this website right here, which is IPSW.me. So from now onwards, both of the people with laptops as well as people with MacBooks should follow the tutorial from here. So we're going to scroll down and then we're going to select iPad because we want to download the software for iPad. Next up, we need to select our iPad model. Okay. So let's scroll down and search carefully for our iPad and make sure you do not miss your model. Otherwise this might create an issue on your iPad. Now, if you have any doubt about your iPad's model, simply double check your iPad's box in order to make sure which model exactly you've got. In my case, I've got in here an iPad mini Wi-Fi, which is this one. I'll tap once on my iPad model. And next up, we need to actually select the latest operating system. As you guys can see, we've got a bunch of operating systems and their respective release date. So this has been the latest one with a green tick over here. We're going to tap once over here 
and then we need to tap here on download okay so depending on the size of the file it might take you a few minutes all the way to 30 to 40 minutes okay depending on your internet speed in my case the download has started and as you guys can see in here it says that it will take around 10 to 15 minutes okay so now let's just sit back relax and wait until this gets completed now once the process of download the software is complete we're gonna move into the next step which is to actually connect our iPad into our MacBook or laptop device so first things first the very first thing you need to do is actually connect the computer end of the USB cable okay so this is how it goes I'm connecting my cable into my laptop and then before connecting the other end into your iPad there's a quick trick in here so if you've got an old iPad model having a physical home button just like mine you're gonna connect it and immediately after connecting you're gonna press and hold the home button along with the power button here at the top so you're gonna press and hold both of the buttons for a couple seconds until you see the DFU screen in here now in case you have a much recent iPad which doesn't have a physical home button in here you're gonna connect and immediately after connecting you're gonna rapidly tap on volume up and then volume down and then press and hold the power button for a couple seconds until you see the DFU screen in here so connect tap tap and press and hold the power button for a couple seconds so in my case since I've gotten here a physical home button on my iPad I'm gonna perform the first step which goes as the following one two three connected pressing and holding both of the buttons the home button along with the power button for a couple seconds keep on pressing the buttons do not release them until you see the DFU screen in here so here we go I'm holding both of the buttons and then release the buttons as soon as you see the DFU screen which looks like this it requires you to connect into your computer so the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to keep our iPad aside and next up you want to make sure you do not touch or you do not mess around with the USB cable otherwise this might create a communication error between your iPad and your laptop device so next up we're gonna hop into our laptop device so on our laptop if you've got a Windows PC or an old operating system on MacBook you're gonna open iTunes right now now in case you have a much recent operating system on your MacBook like mine you're gonna hop into finder right here on the inferior left corner next up you're gonna tap here on iPad right here and this should be the exact same screen that you'll be seeing in your iTunes software. Next up, we need to tap on Restore iPad, but before we tap here on Restore iPad, there's another trick in here. Before tapping on Restore iPad, you're gonna press and hold the Option key here on the left of your keyboard, and then while holding the Option key, you're gonna tap here on Restore iPad, and then you're gonna release the key. And once you do that, you'll be able to see this new window right here. Now, if you've got a Windows PC, instead of holding the Option key, you're gonna hold the Shift key on the left side of your keyboard. Next thing we need to do is scroll down and search for our operating system, the software that we have just downloaded from IPSW website. Normally, this is located in the Downloads folder, and here we go, this is my operating system right here. I'm gonna tap on Open, and then it's gonna ask me whether I wanna restore my iPad, I'll tap on Restore, and the restoration process is going to begin in a couple of seconds next up what we need to do in here is just sit back relax and wait until the restoration process gets completed and most important thing do not mess with your usb cable otherwise this might create a couple issues and also if you have issues connecting your ipad into your laptop double check your usb cable there might be an issue with your usb cable nowadays we've got plenty of duplicate USB cables and they only serve for charging. So in case you're unable to connect, you might be facing a charging only USB cable and in that case, you wanna try a different USB cable. So here we go, the process has started. All we need to do is wait, sit back 
and relax for a couple minutes while our iPad does its thing. Now on your iPad you'll be able to see a progress bar running over here so all you need to do is just to wait relax until this process gets completed. Once this process of installing your operating system into your iPad is complete you'll be able to see a screen which says iPad has been restored to factory settings and it's now restarting. Just leave your iPad connector for a couple more seconds and tap here on OK. So next up, we're going to give a look at our iPad and it should now be restarting. OK, as you guys can see, we're still here at the Apple screen and then we'll be able to see the hello screen once again in here. And hey, congratulations, because you have now completely restored your iPad. So now just disconnect the USB cable and you just need to complete the setting of your iPad. Slide to right, tap in English, which is my language in this case, select your region. In my case, I'll be selecting United States. Next up, you need to connect into a Wi-Fi network. This is my Wi-Fi network right here. And then Apple is going to ask you for a couple minutes while it sets up your iPad. It took me seconds. That's better. Tap on disable location services as I don't wish to turn it on right now. Next up, create a brand new passcode and make sure you do not forget your passcode. Now, if you do not want to create a new passcode, you can also tap on passcode options and then tap on don't add passcode continue okay in case you want to sell your ipad or trade with someone else i'll tap on set up new ipad because you might want to sell your ipad and give it to someone else don't have an apple id and then tap on set up later in settings because i believe you want to set up as a brand new ipad to sell it to somebody else next up terms and conditions you need to accept the terms and conditions by tapping on agree and then cd I'll turn it on later. Don't send diagnostics to Apple and welcome to your brand new iPad. Simply tap here on get started. And here we go. You fully restored your iPad to factory settings without actually needing the old passcode that you had here on your iPad. Thank you so much for making it till the end of the video. If you find my content useful, consider subscribing, leave a comment down below and like the video. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.